what is going on youtube welcome to the channel this is garden with x if you haven't already hit that subscribe button y'all look at that look at this bear i got right here y'all it's pretty nice well it's pretty big too look so i was thinking of giving that away maybe at 500 subs maybe i like i like that bear all right yo anyways so it's been 18 weeks that we have on the kale that we have on my Brussels sprouts, right? And uh, look at the size of these leaves compared to this one. For some reason, the left side of this bed is a lot more nutritious, nutri nutri nutritious, whatever. Whatever, y'all. Make fun of me. It's all good. It's all love. So I'm getting them to climb. I have this big fence I'm going to put in the back that goes up, and uh, I'm going to let them climb on that. I just put that to get them started but they look like they're gonna outgrow it really fast so those are doing good this one's these are doing good but anyways i started doing something i just want to show you i kind of want to show you guys what i do in case i don't know you guys were wondering or you guys were thinking about it you guys already know my brussels sprouts at 18 weeks and we are getting brussels already so that's pretty nice i never grew brussels sprouts i tried to grow brussels sprouts and i was a fail but um we got pretty far into it, it just Daddy. didn't grow they grew some of them grew weird like this not like this this one's growing okay i just wish it was uh straighter but uh it survived off the curve and uh um, it just it just started to grow you know what i mean grew how it grew this one grew a little bit straighter though and uh as you guys can see it's looking pretty it's looking pretty uh -huh. nice it's pretty Me. good huh xavier growing her brussels sprouts brussels sprouts are they good Yes, he likes Brussels sprouts, y'all. We like to eat our veggies, huh? <laughs> Alright, y'all. So, I just want to give you guys, show you guys how I prune my uh, Brussels sprouts. So, I'm going to come in here. And uh, you guys can see that. So, I, I started cutting a little bit. Then I just grabbed the camera. But I'm just uh, cutting a couple of these here and there. And uh, some of the bottom ones. My bad, y'all like this one right here like you know what i mean i'm not cutting all the way down just leaving a little shelf if you would for the brussels sprout so you guys already know i'm gonna give it a little trim mainly because i want most of my energy going into my brussels sprouts so i'm not gonna completely take all of them off i'm, I'm just gonna take a couple off So, that looks pretty good. So, I just took a couple off, y'all. So, um, I, can't, I left them enough where it looks like a, where it looks like a little shelf right there. See that? Looks like a little shelf for the Brussels sprouts. I don't think they're going to be too big. It is a little plant. I for sure need more space and I need to go deeper on this. Someone told me I need, I need a deep, it's a deep rooting plant on my comments i forgot the channel i was if i can find it i'll give a shout out uh next on my next video but uh, he had mentioned something about uh make sure you guys take all your weeds out he had mentioned uh you need a it's a deep rooting plant so you got to make sure you go deep so this is okay it's about a couple feet you know two feet or so like that something like that so it should be enough but you know it doesn't have a lot of space i got sugar snap peas growing another brussel sprout i got kale over there so this you can imagine the bottom of this bed of this dirt is just rooted everywhere so look at our kale y'all we're doing pretty good see this remember it was, so, it was so tiny it's looking good but anyways i just want to show you guys how to prune uh some brussel sprouts at 18 weeks this is what i have so far remember sizes are differently because these were planted at the same time and this one's doing okay and when you come over here and just look at the sides of these of these leaves same age all right same age way different way different so like i said don't get discouraged you know sometimes your your soil is more it has more nutrients you know than other soils it's hard to compare y'all so that's why i do my videos week to week update so you guys can see the progress and this is a good difference actually to show you guys because like i said for some reason this side of the bed is really rich and this side is just okay i mean it's doing okay look at my kale and stuff like that got my 
All these sugar snap peas were planted all at the same time. But look at the size of these. They're really growing. And look at this monster over here. So, you know, don't don't compare plants. Just let them do their own thing. And if you guys feel like your your, your soil is uh your plants are growing like this, then you just add more nutrients over here. Add a little bit more feed, a little bit more uh fertilizer, a little bit of everything. Cause for some reason I, f I feed my beet my, my bed uh evenly. But uh this side, this left side just got a lot of the stuff, so I'm surprised too because I had planted bigger the bigger plants here. Remember I had my pumpkin here. You guys remember I had my squash, I had my pickled cucumber over here. I had a couple different Daddy things. Is hot. What is it? Puppy. What kind of plant what kind of vegetable is that? What is this one? What is it? Look at y'all. This is my, my learner. He don't even know. What kind of vegetable is this? Three years old, y'all. What kind of vegetable is this? This one. Those are Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Time to subscribe, y'all. Stop, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all heard. I'm listening to the man. And they have an onion. Yeah, it looks like a little house or something. You want to trim one of these off? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Cut it. Right here in the stick, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, good enough, I guess. Good enough. Good job. Here, cut this big one off too, right here. Good job. And then this big one. Gotta try to get them involved, try to get them learning. I'm not the best teacher, but... We try, we try. Let me see, let me chop, let me fix these up a little bit for you. We try, Tom, we try. I like to cut them in an angle. You know, diagonally. But that's just me. But anyways, you guys already know I'll leave my leaves in here. Let them, uh, you know, get down and dirty and let them come. Okay, so. All right, y'all, you guys, I just want to mention it to you guys real quickly. This kale right here on this side. See what I'm saying? Plant it at the same time. And look at this. Look at this one compared to my other one. And then look at this one. So tiny compared to my other one. It's so weird. You guys already know I'm letting my broccoli go to seed. So when we get some seeds, I'm going to give you guys an update on that. Make sure you guys take out your weeds. I need to plant something on that side now. But anyways, guys, don't forget... 291 yo appreciate the love man i wake up and i'm like damn it's just it's crazy so i ain't getting mad views or nothing but hey i'm ready to get excited when i actually just get one view so you know i appreciate it y'all just don't don't forget i'm giving this away at 300 subscribers we're almost there less than 10 away uh, and this is for one of you guys my show of appreciation for um all the love you guys been giving me I got plenty more things I'm going to give away as we go. You know, they get bigger and bigger. And uh, like I said, they're just, uh, you know, appreciate the love, y'all. Appreciate it. So this is what it is. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Garden with X. Thanks for the love. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, check out my cat, y'all. My other cat. His name's Jack. What up, Jack? Hey, Xavier, I think the strawberries are ready. Let's go get some strawberries. All right, catch you guys later. Don't forget to sub. Thanks for the Daddy, love, y'all. I'm making up another strawberries. Yes. Let's go get some strawberries.